So now let's talk about debugging customer acquisition channels. So we have some of our initial data, but we want to get more granular around those two things. We want to get granular around, are we improving over time? And how do our customer acquisition channels fare? So let's kind of dig into that a bit. I've uh, listed here some customer acquisition channels. So we have our 100 people coming to our website and we've spent $50, let's just say, on five people coming in through maybe ads, let's just say. And then let's say that we have another 50 that just come direct. We don't really know where they're coming from. Frankly speaking, a lot of the times when you look at your Google Analytics, you just have unattributed traffic and that's normal. And usually about half of your traffic or even as much as half of your traffic can be unattributed, but that's okay. And then lastly, maybe 45 people come in, let's just say through referral codes. All right, so even though the overall numbers look good, I think it's really important to dig into each of these. Now, we've only gotten five people here through the $50. In other words, this is about $10 per click from ads. So that doesn't seem very promising because our product, remember, when you finally get to the end, is $100 per month. We could run more ads and see, like if it turns out the one person who converted down here is from ads, then we may like to run more traffic through ads just to verify whether this is actually a channel that we can use at scale. Um, it's really hard to tell on five people coming. And so, yeah, this is something we may wanna try. If it turns out that zero people converted, I wouldn't exactly write off ads right now because only five people came, but you can kind of see the thinking. Like let's say that we run more ads, again at $10 a click, which you know seems quite pricey, but if it converts, who cares? Because we're making $100 uh, a month. And so if we can get payback in that first month, that would be great. So we'll run ads and let's say that we drive, you know, another a hundred people. So we're spending a thousand dollars now, which is quite pricey. And if we don't have conviction on that channel, like if nobody's converting, then we should probably uh, not work on ads as the first thing. Now it's not to say that ads will never work. Ads tend to be cyclical in nature. And also there are many different ad channels. We didn't even specify which ads, but Facebook ads, for example, operate often very differently from Google ads. And, you know, they're now newer ad channels. I think TikTok is sort of the latest craze, but a lot of people actually find really cheap ads on YouTube ads. So, so ads, you know, there are many different segments of ads. So, so that's kind of how I think about that. And then on the referral code, um, depending on how this referral program works, if we are, let's say, taking $10 off or providing one free month to each new subscriber and the person who referred, then Essentially, we need to see how this affects our revenue. That is a cost. You shouldn't consider it as free. And, and we should kind of dig into who is converting amongst the 45 people we've generated. The numbers right now are probably too slow, uh, uh, too small again. And so we may want to try to drive more people to referral codes as we grow. And then lastly, direct we cannot control. But you see, one of the problems is when about half of your traffic is coming direct and it's unattributable, then that can blend in with all the concerted marketing that we're doing. And concerted marketing costs money. And so our concerted marketing may actually seem cheaper than it is because it's getting blended in with this unattributable traffic. So that's how I would look at it. Like slice and dice by channel, create a funnel for each channel and see how they're doing and where there's not enough data, put some more effort into it. And if you're not seeing the initial results, even without your campaigns in any of these categories being that optimized, in the beginning at least of your startup, I would move on to the next channels. Because one of the interesting attributes of some of the most successful companies is that they can even with just very straightforward, plain and you know not even well-designed, ads or promotions or campaigns in any of these channels like the companies that were that have found success tended to have campaigns that have done very well from the get-go in a channel or so so i wouldn't think oh well i'm not a very polished designer or i'm not a very polished marketer that's not how i think about things I think if you're putting in reasonable effort into a channel and it's not working i would just move on because optimization really should be just that that you're optimizing something that is working 
And so if something is not working right out of the gates, my strategy would be to move on to something else, a different channel. 